voted, but that heaven had already preordained that marriage equality would come to the great empire state of New York. And for that, we celebrate you, God. Come on, somebody clap your hands. We celebrate you, God. We reverence you, and we adore you. God, we ask that you would continue to heal the hearts of those family members of those young people that committed suicide over the last year, God, for their lives were not lived in vain, and we will forever fight, oh God, for freedoms that will lead to environments where nobody will want to take their life because of their sexual orientation. God, we even pray that you would remember our brothers and sisters as far away as Uganda and in all places in the world where they're facing systematic violence. God, go and be with them today as we celebrate our freedom. We celebrate in a way that they cannot, oh God. We celebrate for them. And God, we pray for every person who is a detractor. We pray for our enemies. We pray for the people in churches who are still living hypocritic lives, oh God, and still condemning us. We pray for those that speak against us. We pray for those that hate us. We pray for those that would seek to harm us. We pray for those who despise us, oh God. And we thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you for where you have brought us. And with joy and exuberance and excitement, we are excited about where you are taking us. We're excited that we are alive to see the page turning. You are changing the world and you're using us to do it. And we thank you today. We thank you because gay children being born in hospitals all over the world will never go through what we did because you are changing the world and we thank you today we bless you today for it and now God we pray for our safety and for our enjoyment and that the presence of the Lord would ever be felt among us and now the people of God everywhere put their hands together to give God praise to give God glory and to give God honor in Jesus name